The first time I heard about the old operating theatre was from a friend. She had been before, knew of my love of the history of medicine and all things slightly macabre. Uh, and she said, Claire, you've got to go there. It is the place for you. And when I walked up those stairs was, this is just such an exciting place. I kind of fell in love with the place on first impression. Just uh, coming into the space, it, it felt really amazing. I like that window with the differently colored bottles a lot because every time I come to visit the museum and I try to visit it once each time I come to London, the weather is always different, the light is always different and it always gives a really nice mood. The experience here at the old operating theatre is really unique. The old operating theatre is an old operating theatre and you really just don't find that anywhere else. I love the fact that you can go in there and you can imagine somebody in 1822 lying on that operating table, having those surgeons peering down onto them with all of their tools and thinking, oh my goodness, what is going to happen to me? And the fact that that is here and that is what happened here is just, it's just brilliant. I always really like the museums that are in the place where the history actually took place. For me, it feels more immediate and more real if you see the collections in the place where they were actually used. So that's something I really like and I thought was really different about many of the other museums I visited in London. What I would say to other people if they were considering becoming a friend of the old operating theatre is do it. It's a wonderful, intimate place to come. The people who work here are just fantastic, so enthusiastic, and it's something that I really think shouldn't be lost. This is a unique period in history, and I think it's a really important thing that we preserve that. I do like to visit the museum every time I come to London, and to make sure the museum's still there. When I come back, I wanted to contribute a small part to keep it open, so to say, to keep it running. I know when a small part is not a lot, but if a, a many people do a small part, you can do really a lot. So a bit of a selfish decision. I always like to support people who keep and maintain collections of historical objects and make them accessible to the public. And uh, I think the, the collection and the displays are really beautiful. I think just getting involved with something you love is a really good feeling, um, something you want to support, that you can uh, contribute a small part to keeping something alive. That uh, for me personally was one of the biggest reasons to, to become a friend of the old op. Of course, I would convince them because, again, it's selfish. The more people support the old op, the, the longer I can enjoy it.